Hello, hello my friends and welcome to another video. So, you probably know from the title of this video, but today I am going to talk about some of my favorite things and it's been so long since I've done one of these videos. One, because I just kind of forgot about them. So, I actually have so much stuff here and it's just kind of like a, some of my favorite things that I have accumulated over the last few months. I kind of have all the categories of things and I will link everything that I got online um, in the description box um, for you guys and if I have discount codes for any of it obviously I'll put that in the description box and then obviously like some of the food stuff there's no discount codes but I'll tell you where I got everything. Um, so I'm gonna start with food because that is whenever I watch favorite videos that's like my favorite part. So instead of saving the best for last we're gonna start with the best. So then you can always just watch that and be like, okay, I'm done with this video if you get bored, you know? Since prep has come to an end, obviously I have been able to try a lot of new things. Um, you might have seen some of these guys in previous videos, but I'm going to share them with you anyway. This Thai red curry sauce from Trader Joe's, and I didn't just recently try this. I tried it months and months and months ago and then kind of forgot about it. But I love Thai food. Like, I love curry. I love pad thai. Um, I just love all the spices and stuff. And you can make curry. I think it's kind of hard and time-consuming to make. Um, and a lot of times it's, like, pretty high fat. doesn't have the best macros. But I found this bad boy at Trader Joe's. They have a yellow curry and a green curry, too. This one does have the best macros. Um, it is for 60 grams. Um, or a quarter cup, it's 80 calories, 6 fat, 7 carb, and 1 protein. Sometimes when you get curry from a curry restaurant, it's like the sauce, and then you could literally like spoon the veggies and stuff out of the sauce. I just like to cover everything in this. So literally like half a serving is plenty, and it's great macros. It tastes so good, and it's so easy. Like you literally just pour it onto whatever you're making. So highly, highly recommend this. It's from Trader Joe's. Whenever I do these favorites videos, a lot of the food's going to be from Trader Joe's because I feel like they have a lot of fun stuff. So, um, you guys know if you've been watching my full days of eating videos um, that I love, 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 love their pumpkin cream cheese in the fall. And I was really sad because at the end of October, they discontinue it. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do without my flavor fun cream cheese? Then I saw this bad boy. It is brown sugar cinnamon cream cheese. Um, it is so phenomenal. I like the cinnamon sugar bagels, or if you ever had like cinnamon sugar toast, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's sweet and cinnamony. It's a Christmas party in your mouth, okay? Like, that is how I would explain this. It is delicious. Macros for 30 grams, um, 8 fat, 5 carb, and 2 protein for a whole serving. And so, um, highly, highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's by you. Then, last food thing are these maple Cheerios, which I think I showed in my last full day of eating. And I can smell them from here. They smell so good. So, I love maple. Like, I will put sugar-free syrup on everything because I just love the flavor and the sweetness of it. Um, and these are so good. And I just love Cheerios. And these were a phenomenal find. They are sweet, but not like cinnamon toast crunch, like super, super sweet. Um, just like a hint of sweetness and maple-y. So, I have to say, these are cereal. I've been putting them on top of yogurt. Sometimes I just have a few pieces here and there because I need my little cereal fix. Um, but they are great. And very similar to like Cheerio macros. It's 1.5 fat, 22 carb, and 2 protein for 3 quarters of a cup or 28 grams. So, really, really good. Easing out of food, um, we're going to go into supplements. So, first, I'm not going to go into... A crazy rant about this because I already talked to you guys about it but the new Unico strawberry protein and I am NOT just saying this because I'm affiliated with Unico um, 
Like I was shook by this and I was not super lit about this labor coming out. Like I was just kind of like, oh, like Unico needs to make a strawberry protein. So they're making the strawberry protein. I don't like strawberry protein powder. Um, I, you would never catch me buying a strawberry protein drink. The strawberry like milk is a disgusting concept to me. Same with strawberry protein. I opened it and was shook. So it's strawberry cheesecake and it smells like strawberry cheesecake. Like it doesn't smell like fake strawberry. It, I, I wish you could see it, but it literally has like little freeze dried strawberry bits in it. Um, and I think it's the cheesecake piece of it that makes it so it's not just like fake strawberry flavor. Obviously just the Unico protein in general is a whey casein egg blend. So it's thick, it's creamy. Um, I've been loving this in my oats and cream of rice. Um, I've even just mixed it with a little bit of cashew milk and water and used it as like a cream cheese frosting spread um, on rice cakes or toast or waffles. I mix it with my cereal milk. So good. So whether or not you're like a strawberry fan, um, like protein fan, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. This little bun on top of my head is <laughs> really ridiculous, but my hair is just ridiculous today. And this is super recent, like the last few days, but it is this, I don't know how you say it, Gaia Golden Milk. Um, and it says a delicious blend of turmeric, dates, and herbs. So if you don't know what golden milk is, it's basically um, like, you can see, it is this yellow powder. So it's turmeric um, and almond milk. And then there are a bunch of other spices and stuff in it. And basically turmeric is an anti-inflammatory spice. It has a ton of health benefits. And one of those main ones is um, recovery and it helps with inflammation and I actually saw this at CVS when I was picking up a prescription like a week ago I was like I really want to try this just obviously because I train really hard um inflammation 100% is a thing um and there are a lot of other things that can cause inflammation as well obviously and I thought that this would be something really good to try um just to help with even stress and all of that kind of stuff at night been shown to help with digestion and the helping to calm you down and stuff as well. All you do is take a teaspoon of this and you put it in whatever kind of milk you want. So I've just been mixing it with almond milk. Um, I add a little bit of stevia and cinnamon because this literally tastes like straight turmeric. It's not like the tastiest thing ever. But when you mix it with cinnamon and stevia and almond milk, it is delicious. Sometimes I put a little bit of whipped cream on top. And I've been having this every night kind of as I'm getting ready for bed. It seriously does calm me down and I it's too soon for me to say like oh it's helped a ton with inflammation but I know for sure it can't hurt and I think it actually probably will help and obviously um you are getting more turmeric by doing this than if you were just to like spice your food with turmeric or something like that so I thought I would share this and you can literally just get it at CVS I'm assuming you can get it on Amazon or something so I'll link it below you guys probably all know if you've been subscribed to my channel for a decently long time that I am no beauty guru. Like, I mean, look at my hair. I feel like I have no business talking about anything beauty related, like at all. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway because there's a few new things that I tried. I literally am someone who has used the same makeup for years and I never like try anything new because I just don't care. <laughs> These are things that were recommended to me that I have tried. So the first that I've been shaking in front of you, I don't think you can see it. Oh, there you go. Um, but it is BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil, BB being Bumble and Bumble, um, and Erin, the girl who does my hair, um, she recommended this to me, she gave it to me, and I also use this same line of shampoo and conditioner, it's the same like smoothing line, um, and then I have a hair primer, um, but this is what I wanted to share with you because it has seriously helped me so much it has changed my life it has changed the hair game as I'm talking to you with hair that is a freaking mess but um it's very common for blondes and I mean just like natural blondes regardless of if you color your hair or not but we tend to have a lot drier hair than um brunettes now obviously like if it's greasy it really shows but just like 
actual hair wise we tend to have a lot drier hair also using um, like purple shampoo if you do dye your hair blonde dries out your hair even more um, and obviously dyeing your hair does damage it and make it a little bit dry too I just really struggled with having like super dry brittle hair to the point where like I like half the reason I have my hair like up like this all the time is because I have all this breakage here she recommended this to me and it's something that I put on every morning and even throughout the day if I'm like wow my hair looks so dry and like frizzy right now um, you just use like a little dime size and I just rub it through my hair I've had this for a couple months now and it's not even like a quarter of the way gone I don't think it's that expensive I will link it below but I do use the shampoo and conditioner I use the primer but this I use every single day and I have a little mini one that I keep in my purse <laughs> too and it just helps so much so if you have dry hair I really really recommend this it's just something that's super easy and you don't have to like do any like crazy procedure like wash it out or anything like that like, you'll literally just lather it off this Tarte palette it is the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 lighting palette um, and I didn't even really understand what highlighter was slash is still really don't but I saw this at Sephora um, I was there with my roommate and it was on sale and I was like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna be cool and, and, and get some highlighter and I literally I have it on right now um, right here um, and I use it as eyeshadow too I just use really like basic neutral colors for eyeshadow like I don't do a ton of eye makeup but one this smells so good I've never had makeup that smells good before but this smells really really good I don't need a bajillion different colors I like I said use the same thing every single day so this is like perfect for me and I love the colors that are in it next we're gonna go into clothes I have it on and I literally think I've worn one in like three of my last like four or five YouTube videos these loose waffle crop tops from forever 21 i just looked and i think they are sold out right now but it's one that i know they're gonna restock because i've seen a lot of other people wearing them so they'd be stupid not to you guys know i literally wear like comfy clothes leggings and a t-shirt the majority of the time and these they're just like a good length they're not so short that it's like hey i'm walking around with my stomach out um, but I do like the crop look, especially because I wear high-waisted leggings and stuff. I've also worn these with jeans before, and they look cute. They're just casual enough that it's casual, but you can dress it up. Like, I've seen people wear these with, like, cute denim jackets or even a leather jacket. And, like, it looks really cute. So it's just kind of a good, versatile thing. Um, I did just order more in the non-cropped version and they're still a little bit cropped so I'll let you know how I like those. We'll link them because there, maybe there's a chance that they're restocked or something. Next thing, I've literally been wearing these every single day. Literally just took them off my feet before I recorded this video but I've had these for about a year and they are these Steve Madden shoes i don't know what they're called but i will link them below um and i know they still sell them because i started wearing them because obviously it is december um even though i live in san diego it'd be a little weird to be walking around in sandals all the time um, and sometimes i just don't want to tie my shoes that's honestly why i started wearing them and now both of my roommates <laughs> have them um and sometimes we all wear them and it's just like really obnoxious but i just love them because they literally do go with everything they're super comfy they're cute because they're um they're like a little velvety material. I don't know if you can see that. And they have just a little bit of a platform. But they're not like that crazy platform that's kind of in style. Like, I don't know if I can pull that off. I'm not quite to that level yet. They're cuter than like Converse or something like that. Um, so I've been wearing these like all the time. And if you need just like a cute shoe to wear like casually around. I would highly, highly recommend these. They have them in a bunch of different colors. And I'm probably going to get them in like gray or something. Just to switch it up. But... Last thing I'm going to share with you, another new purchase, is this milk frother. I just washed it and that just got water on my face. But I got this on Amazon, honestly, for the golden milk. But 
I have been using this to mix my greens. I have been using it in my coffee in the morning to mix my like milk or creamer in there. Uh, but like literally anything that you need to mix, it does it 10 times better than any shaker ever could. And coffee is so much better when it's frothy. Golden milk is so much better when it's frothy. This is Bonson Kitchen brand. Again, I will link it below. But it comes like the batteries already in there. It's not expensive. Um, and I've literally used this multiple times a day. Best investment ever. Not that it was much of an investment because it's not expensive. But um, I've just seen people use these for forever and I never thought to buy them on Amazon. As often as I'm on Amazon, I don't know why I didn't think to do that. But I'm so happy I did. I don't have a frother, which I feel like I'm really late to the game on this one. But if you're later to the game than I am, get in the game don't sit out of the game anymore okay that is all of my favorites i feel like i rambled for forever but i did just want to do this and i hope you guys enjoyed it so as always comment share like subscribe let me know what else you want to see and i will see you guys in the next one